Let's have a closer look at the Bicolors Le Mans car for 2021. There are only a few renderings available right now, but they reveal quite an interesting aero concept. First of all, Bicolors will use a naturally aspirated V8 engine and no hybrid system for the race version. Naturally aspirated engine means less air is required and we can see much smaller air intakes than the turbocharged Toyota. Not using a hybrid system means not having to package an electric motor at the front axle. This results in a super slim nose which appears right in front of the pedal box. This slim nose gives you much more air volume that you can turn into downforce. Bicolors has a history of aggressive front packages. They used their experience here and took it to the next level. The car features a relatively high sitting one element front wing and they positioned another curved front wing above, which even trims into the fenders and could not be any wider. Above that sits a very aggressive flap which might be adjustable. They used a little trick here and pushed the fender further outboard so the flap can be wider and generate more downforce. Right behind the flap the fender gets wider again so it can cover the front wheels. You can also see the side pod inlet with a vein in front of it. This area between front axle and side pod inlet is very interesting because you can see how low the side pod inlet sits. The vein in front of it guides the air above the side pod and the fender is pushing the front wheel wake outboard to get more clean air to the back. One feature I was a bit surprised about is the big and high sitting front axle outlet. In this upper position the low energy air is not really pushed outboard and could be sucked towards the middle of the car further back. This might be the reason why the rear wing on this car is sitting in its highest possible position, so the low energy air of the front axle can travel between rear wing and beam wing without hitting them and without reducing performance. Like the Toyota, the Bicolors features a hidden coke bottle shape at the rear which guides air around the rear wheels at the inner side. This is new to most WEC teams and they follow different concepts here. While the Toyota seem to guide as much air as possible into this area to support the large diffuser, the Bicolors is obstructing this path a bit with their low sitting side pod inlet. Instead, they guide more air above the car and use a beam wing at the rear to generate some extra downforce. At the same time, this beam wing supports the upper rear wing, reduces the pressure behind the car at the outlets, which helps cooling, and it supports the relatively small diffuser. The extra long end plates remind us of early 1990s prototypes and help to shield the suction areas behind the car for more downforce. So since the new regulations take all advantage from hybrid and all-wheel drive cars, this light and high downforce rear-wheel drive car could be a serious competitor. I guess they will be far below the weight limit and will position ballast at the most convenient places which will help them to bring the center of gravity further down. By the way, it will also sound amazing. So how do you like the Bicolors car for 2021? Let me know in the comments below.